Our next guest may look familiar as he starred as Officer James Garcia in Reno 911 for five hysterical seasons, but he may also sound familiar as he's become a sought-after voiceover artist at, for ca cartoons and commercials. Meet funny man Carlos Alazraki, who is in his best model lingerie pose. I wanted to make the transition easy. <laughs> beautiful Welcome. woman, beautiful face. Look at that mug right there. Huh? <laughs> this right here. You can't compete with that. You're, okay, so in your formative younger years when yeah. you were growing up, did you say, when I grow up, I want to I want to do a voiceover. I want to be a voiceover artist. I want to do impressions. I didn't say that. I just came home and watched cartoons of my mom and dad from South America, right? Carlos Jaime Alasraki de Argentina. And my best friend's parents were from Glasgow, Scotland. Scotland. So if I wasn't at home hearing, Carlitos, no me digas. I was hearing, Carlos, what are you and Kevin doing? <laughs> so right away, I was just thrust into this world of, like, dialects and accents, and I'm, I'm soaking it up, you know? Doing Papa, oh, my gosh, Herman Munster. I won't do it, Lily. I won't, I won't, I won't. So, you know, I soaked it up. So I, I guess I was destined to do it, although I didn't say I wanted to be a voiceover actor. It just happened. It just happened. All right, so you just teamed up with Disney to be the voice of El Chupacabra in the new animated film, Planes. That's big. You said Alice Rocky and El Chupacabra in the same interview. You're the most genius interviewer on the planet. Thank you, I know. El Chupacabra, yes. El Chupacabra. I'm a star of telenovelas, a recording artist of all time, and a very fast fighter plane. El Chupacabra. Cabra. Yeah, Planes, and Planes 2 is uh, for Pixar, and he's sort of a breakout character, and they're doing, they're recording both scripts at the same time. It's testing really well, and uh, it's uh, it's good. I'm getting my Latino on, you know? Because <laughs> I'm American. My name's Carlos. What's up, Carlos? What's up, Carlos? No, yo soy Latino de Argentina. <laughs> now, do more people recognize you by you or by your voice? It's half and half, you know? I, I wore the Rocco shirt because I'm the voice of Rocco and Rocco's Modern Life, which is back in Netflix and all that, and I do these comic cons and so the Rocco people recognize me as Rocco but then some people go wait a minute you're Garcia from Reno 911 so if I wore a mustache and did an Australian accent then I'd do both at the same time but it's kind of half and half so uh, you know and Yo Quiero Taco Bell Yo they, Quiero I was gonna say you, you are the voice of Yo Quiero Taco Bell I was the voice of that little dog Viva Gorditas I think I'm in love lingerie oh. <laughs> so again a little bit a little bit of both a little bit a little bit of voiceover a little bit on uh, face time I get recognized for both it's kind of Nice. Now, how long does it take to master an impression? Does it just come easy, or do you actually have to work at it? You know, I did a lot of Mike Wazowski stuff uh, for, di for Disney, because sometimes <laughs> Billy Crystal can always be there. So I got, Mike Wazowski, get your service. I saw Forget About Paris, that movie, about 50 times, no, 15 times in one week, and I kept rewinding it. If you're going to if you're gonna tell me about your life, can you tell me you got four brothers with bad ears? I'm married! <laughs> so that took me about a whole weekend, and then there's some that I'm still working on that I can't quite get, you know? I'm mean, working at the, the James Gandalf feed Christopher, what are you doing to me? You busted my... You, hey, Loretta, what are you doing? You, you've got a family here. I've got a, got, a, got a therapy. So that one, there's a guy named Kevin Michael Richardson who's a voiceover guy. He is awesome. So I can't quite get the James Gandolfini yet, but it takes... You just got to keep practicing it. I'm just appalled that you watched Forget Paris 15 times. I really? know. Somebody I had to do it. It oh. was research. Forgive me. <laughs> what am I going to do? It was almost as entertaining as this, as me as an interview subject. It was very good. It was a good film. What are, what are we going to do? What Come are gonna on. Do? Are you going to bust Billy Crystal? Parental Guidance. That's a new film he's in. It is. It's coming out. All right. Who cracks you up? You know who I love is uh, Chris Lilly from Summer Heights High. He's an Australian actor. I love Louis C.K. Uh, you know, classic Lucille Ball. I love Archie Bunker. I love the old stuff. Mary Tyler Moore. That stuff. Carol Burnett still cracks me up. I'm old school, man. I love, uh, I love uh, Daniel Day-Lewis in, uh, we were just talking about it, in the, in the movie There Will Be Blood doing John Houston. If I have a milkshake, I am a president clothed in immense power. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Okay, I, I want to give well. I want to give away some tickets. You want to let's give away let's some tickets it. to go see your show this weekend. All right. If you want to see Carlos live this weekend at Stanford's, you need to call right now for some free tickets because the first ten callers will get tickets to Friday or Saturday night. Call 913-400-7500. Say it with me now. 913-400-7500. 7500. Shows are at 745 and 945 it. both nights. So pick up the phone. That number again. Do, Nine, it. do it in a voice. You, go. You, you do. You buy those tickets. You better show up. Yo. You better show up. <laughs> Yo. 913-400-7500. All right, coming up.